Hello everybody and welcome to another C++ tutorial. In this tutorial I will be showing you how you can use pointers as well as dynamic memory. This is going to be a pretty fast tutorial as it's pretty easy, but let me explain a little what dynamic memory is. So in C++ there are th this, there's this thing called the stack and this other thing called the heap. And what the stack is, is it deals with static memory and what static memory is is it's memory that has a predetermined size like if I typed in int array or my array and then I gave a value of 2 this would be created on the stack because I am setting a value for this I cannot go past two values in this array if I set more than two values I'd run into a uh, an error However, there is a way around this, and yes, you could technically use vectors. However, that's a bad habit to get into, especially if you want to work with uh, systems and more advanced data structures, because on lower levels, it doesn't really matter if you use vectors or this system, but when you get to more advanced levels, they're going people, if you get employed by somebody who wants you to work on systems, they're probably going to want you to use dynamic memory as it saves more space and memory and makes the program run more efficiently, and it's a good coding practice to get into. So how we can use pointers for this is we can just declare, let's do an array, so we'll say int my array, and then we want to add the asterisk right there is equal to a new int just like that so this just sets it equal to a new integer and what this new integer means is when you call the new uh, keyword it means that you want to put this on the heap and it's going to be dynamic so now we can specify a size for it and this size is interchangeable so we can actually just see out enter array size right here and then we can int size and then c in size and then we can create a new int with the uh, array size of whatever the user passes in for size just like that and then we can go ahead and we can just um, what should we say? Let's do a for loop. We'll say for int i equal to zero, while i is less than size i plus plus, and then we'll just say something like, oh, I don't know, like c out enter number i plus one, just like that. So enter the enter the number that you want to add, and then we can just something like int new int c in new int, and then we could set my ray the current index position equal to whatever the user passed in for new int. Then we can just do another for loop int i equal to zero while i is less than size. And actually, let me the consistent i plus plus and then we just want to see out ray um, my ray i as well as an end line there so now this should work hopefully I haven't tested this out but uh, this should work enter array size let's make this 2 enter number 1 we'll enter 10 then 20 prints out 10 prints out 20 and another thing this right here is actually not good because what's happening is the number these numbers are being created and they're being stored on the heap then they're just being left to sit there the heap is going to forget about it that's called a memory leak or it's basically it's cloud it's accumulating memory so what we always want to do is we want to say del delete and then we want to add the two angle bracket or not angle brackets um just regular square brackets and then we want to call that because we want to delete the array if this wasn't an array we just call the delete but because it's an array we have to have the two square brackets there and then call my ray and then what this will do is this will just delete the contents this will just delete the array from the heap and then it'll leave space for more memory and so yeah
this would this basically will just do the same thing so raise size enter a number number and then it prints out those two numbers so yeah that is how you can create a dynamic array using pointers and dynamic memory allocation and then delete that all the source code will be down in the description thank you for watching this video if you liked it please give it a like and share and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you next time bye